Hey guys, this is Alex from Top Tennis Training and today I've got my hands on the Dunlop CX200. Now this racket weighs in at 305 grams. It's got the 1619 string pattern. Its head size is 98 square inches and it's got 21.5 millimeter beam size. So a really thin classic beam for those players looking for extra control. Now I was really excited to try out this racket as I used to use the Dunlop 200G a few years ago. A racket that was famously used by uh, Safin and Johansson and now I guess this is the new version of the racket from Dunlop. And I'm going to try and test it out and put it through its paces. I wouldn't say this is a racket for topspin generation. It's a great racket for those players who are trying to hit through the shot a lot more, a flatter hitter. It was certainly great on the slice, but for topspin, I think it lacked a little bit of that string movement, that bite on the ball, and it had a slightly less forgiving feel to it. I felt on the approach it was great, so if I was slice approached, uh, I felt I, gr I had great feel on the ball. Because of that thinner beam, I felt like it was almost slicing through the air and really going through contact. So it was a great uh, racket for the approach. Now at the net, I felt like it was slightly less forgiving and I felt like I had to get the ball right on the middle of my racket in order to produce great results. But once I did, I could really feel the ball and I could go for drop shots and go for the bigger volleys too. It was great for overheads. Again, the thinner beam felt like it could slice through there really quickly. I felt like I could hit my smashes with confidence. It wouldn't give me as much power maybe as the SX300, but this one was definitely a worthy contender on the net game and the smash. It does, but I also feel like I want a racket that will give me a little bit more power. I don't feel like I produce as much power myself, so I need a racket that will generate a little bit more for me. I feel like this racket maybe is for the taller player, someone who already has a lot of power and wants that little bit more control. Someone who drop shots, someone who slices, um, and, and a general baseline player, I think it will suit. Yeah, I like the, the string definitely in this racket and I, actually the 1619 string pattern works well here. Uh, I feel like if it's a slightly denser string pattern, it'd feel too wooden. Uh, whereas here I could still feel like I can get a little bit more out of the racket and certainly the string did help with that. I like the classic look of the racket. Uh, it's uh, slightly non-uniform, so you've got the black on one side and you've got the, the little bit of black here. It almost the D brings you in there, so it almost follows this, the, the line of your stroke, which is quite interesting. It's an interesting design. I like the kind of cherry red uh, on the racket, but all in all, it's a very classic feel to it. The thinner beam looks great. It feels great in the hand. So yeah, generally, it's a, it's a classic looking racket. Now compared to the CX400, I feel like this racket didn't give me quite as much power as the CX400, but it definitely gave me a lot more control. So this is a great racket for a player who wants to contain their game. Maybe if you're missing a lot, if you're trying to play a little bit more percentage tennis, this would be the racket for you. And it's more of a classic player's racket, maybe a one-handed backhand, someone who slices a lot, someone who likes coming forward, but it's not a racket that's gonna just give you a lot of power and you'll feel like you're just gonna blow away your opponent. Now in terms of price, I guess it's comparable to rackets like the Babolat Pure Strike, the Wilson Pro Staff and the Had Radical because it's got the similar head size, the thinner beam, but it's cheaper than those rackets yet it still produces great results and I, I would definitely pick it over most of its competition. 
Overall, I think it's a great racket for a player that's looking for more control rather than power. Someone who wants to get good touch, someone who comes forward, someone who uses the slice a lot. And I'm sure there's many of you out there who will uh, feel this racket in your hand and feel like it's uh, the weapon for you.